Hello, I am Robbie, a TA here for the anatomy uh, lab at Ohio University. Today we are going to be going over which foramina these 12 cranial nerves pass through in the skull. All right, let's start this video by talking about what we are looking at. So this is a skull and these pipe cleaners represent one of the 12 cranial nerves or an artery or a vein. And if we think about it, the brain needs vasculature, so that's why we have arteries and veins, but these cranial nerves also branch off of the brain. So if we had the brain sitting here in the skull, we would need the cranial nerves branching off to get through the bone. How do we do this? We have foramina, and they are on either side of the skull. On this model, we have them all labeled on the right side. So let's go through it. Okay. All right, we are going to start with cranial nerve one, the olfactory nerve. As we can see, this pipe cleaner is traveling through a foramina, or foramina, because it's plural, the olfactory foramina. So these are within the cribriform plate, and if you've seen that, it has multiple holes. So each one of those holes is a foramen, but collectively, that's the olfactory foramen. So let's talk about the function of cranial nerve one. We all know that it's our sense of smell. So if we were to breathe in any um, molecules or chemicals in the air, we'd be able to detect that smell from this nerve. And as we know that branches down through the nose and those nerve fibers allow us to detect smell. All right, so next we have the optic canal and that encases cranial nerve two, the optic nerve. Next we have the superior orbital fissure all the way through there. That contains many nerves such as cranial nerve three, oculomotor, cranial nerve four, trochlear, cranial nerve five, ophthalmic branch, if I could get that out of here. <laughs> and cranial nerve six, abducens nerve. And I remember that because superior orbital fissure contains the nerves that make your eyes do tricks, three, four, and six. We also have cranial nerve five, can't forget that ophthalmic branch. All right, next foramen we have is the foramen rotundum, right there. And passing through that, we have the maxillary branch of cranial nerve five. Then we have the foramen ovale. And passing through that is our third branch of cranial nerve five, the mandibular branch. Jumping across, we're going to go to the foramen lacerum here. And as you can see, it sort of jets into that carotid canal on the side. And encompassing that is the internal carotid artery. Now jumping back here to the foramen spinosum, right underneath that foramen ovale, a little small, but that has the middle meningeal artery. And the way I remember this is foramen spinosum spin kick, we're in the MMA, middle meningeal artery. Down here we have the internal acoustic meatus. That jets all the way across to the external acoustic meatus. But nerve traveling through that is cranial nerve eight, the vestibulocochlear nerve. And down below we have our jugular foramen. Now this is a large foramen so we could guess that there are a lot of things passing through it. Let's start with cranial nerve nine the glossopharyngeal nerve. 
We will also have cranial nerve 10, vagus nerve passing through there, and cranial nerve 11, the spinal accessory nerve. The key thing to note about the spinal accessory nerve is that it actually passes through the foramen magnum first and then loops around to travel through that jugular foramen. Another structure we have in this jugular foramen is that internal jugular vein right here. So not just nerves in this foramen, we also have that internal jugular vein. Yep. And as you can see here, the hypoglossal nerve in the pink is going through that hypoglossal canal. All right, so there is one more very important foramen we need to talk about. That is the foramen magnum right here. Very large hole. The spinal cord will be passing through it, sort of like this probe here. I just wish I could have had a better model to show you guys, I'm not sure. Oh, wait a minute. Here we go, perfect. So as you can see here, bottom of the skull, we have that spinal cord passing through the foramen magnum. And underneath you could really see that that spinal cord's passing through that vertebral foramen past the, ver the cervical vertebrae. So that has been the foramen and what passes through them. I hope you guys learned a lot. Make sure you know the functions of these as well, but this is a great way to locate yourself anatomically throughout the skull.